This is the Royal Exchange, which was founded in 1566 by Sir Thomas Gresham. It was so that all the merchants had a place where they could assemble and conduct their business instead of hanging around in all the coffee houses and stuff. He financed the building of the Royal Exchange entirely out of his own pocket in return for a lifetime share in its profits. It actually turned out pretty well because it ended up being the main place where people did their business. Inside, it's got really beautiful old Victorian pictures of the British Empire and stuff like that, which are now being allowed to erode. There's uh, not much British Empire left, apart from places like Pitcairn Island. What's so, with the cricket, by the way? Oh, it's a grasshopper. The legend is that when he was a baby, Sir Tom Gresham was abandoned in a cornfield and only discovered because an old lady heard a grasshopper chirping nearby. See all these signs in this street? They're all to do with when the original coffee houses used to be here. And these were the emblems for each coffee house. 500 years ago, the main businesses didn't have offices. They just met up in coffee houses and taverns. But if they were really serious, they could apply for a royal charter and become livery companies, which meant that they'd be given a headquarters in which to meet and have ceremonial robes to wear and stuff. And they're always referred to as the worshipful company of tax collectors and the worshipful company of skinners. This, for example, was donated by the worshipful company of gardeners. Back in the 16th century, the Lord Mayor ranked the guilds in order of importance, and the top 12 were allowed to parade in the annual Lord Mayor's March. But there was always an argument between the Tailor's Guild and the Skinner's Guild, and they all said, oh, wait a minute, I'm more important than you, I should be at number six, and the other one said, oh, no, no, you can be at number seven. In the end, the Lord Mayor decided to alternate them each year, and so that's where they, you get the expression being at sixes and sevens, which football commentators always love to use when talking about the defenders. All the defenders were in sixes and sevens there, weren't they? This is Lombard Street after Lombardy in Italy because it used to have loads of Italians in it. This was the Italian ghetto. But well, it does have a Costa coffee on it. <laughs>